Hello children, how are you all? Let's continue our lesson, lesson number 12, understanding the map. Topic is components of map. Before going to start this topic, I will tell you something about map. What is map? The word map is also called naksha in Hindi. The word map is derived from the Latin word mappa mundi, which means a piece of handkerchief or cloth can be held in the hand. Can be held in the hand means earlier people did not have mobile phone at that time. They draw a rough sketch of map on the piece of cloth or handkerchief to get the destination. Now let's start our new topic components of map. First is direction. What is direction? When you observe the map, on the top of the map, you see one sign. That sign is represented by an arrow and on the top of the arrow N is written. This arrow sign indicates the north direction. If you understand the north direction, you can easily decide rest of the direction. Suppose you stand facing the rising sun. At that time, the north direction will be at your left hand side, the south direction will be at your right hand side, west direction will be at your back side and east is in front. Children, two things keep in mind. When you stand facing means north is in front. At that time, the east direction will be at your right hand side and you stand facing means when you stand Facing in east at that time, north direction will be at your left hand side. Clear students? Now, there are four main directions, north, south, east and west. North east direction is between the north and east. South east direction is between the south and east. Southwest direction is between the south and west. Northwest direction is between the northwest direction. These are called the intermediate directions. Northeast direction is also called Ishan. Southwest direction is called Agnya. Southwest direction is called the Narutya. And northwest direction is called the Vayavya. Okay. You find any direction in the map with the help of directions and intermediate direction. Now other is, what is this? This is a drawing of village. Means map of the village. Here you see different pictures like picture of temple, large tree, healthcare, water tank, pond, farms, well, gate, post office. Here you see north direction on the top hand side. This arrow sign indicates the north side direction. If you have the knowledge of north direction, you can easily decide the rest of the direction. Here is north, it means south is here, east and west. Let us learn how to find out the direction. Direction of temple. First see where is temple? Here it is. It is in the east side. Okay. Direction of well from the post office. Where is well? Here is well. Well is in the where it is? It is in the southwest direction and post office comes in the opposite direction. It means southeast side. Direction of water tank. Where is water tank? It is here. Direction of well, water tank from the pond means pond say water tank ka direction. It means water tank comes in the eastern side. Direction of post office from the farm. Where is farm? Here it is. It is in the northwestern side. Then post office is in the opposite direction. It comes in the southeastern side. Now what is compass? What is this? This is a magnetic compass. Here you see it is used for determining the direction. Here you see magnetic needle on the axis that moves freely inside the box 
and this compass box is covered by glass n and s are marked are marked on the needle n shows the north direction and s shows the south direction it is used magnetic compass is used in the shape steamer submarine aircraft etc for determining the direction now third is conventional sign you might observe many special signs and symbols when you come to school from home now first sign represents red cross sign it represents the sign of hospital this is this sign is always found on hospitals clinic dispensaries etc now second sign is the sign of petrol pump third conventional sign represent horn is prohibited in which places horn is prohibited horn is prohibited nearby schools hospital because these areas are silent zone and should be respected by all various physical and cultural details are shown in the map with the help of signs and symbols these signs and symbols are known as conventional sign definite alphabets shadow light colors pictures lines are used to show the conventional sign conventional sign of the map is very simple in language and it is universally accepted there is an international agreement regarding these symbols that is used in the map let us learn how to draw the conventional sign here are different conventional sign let us learn how to draw now first is mountain how to draw the symbol of mountain draw three oval shape draw three oval shape, uh, shape one into another without any gap second is draw one oval shape with dotted circle without any gap third is p first draw solid black circle uncircle by the dotted triangle outside without any gap pass what is pass pass is a route through the mountain range here you draw a route and on the both side draw the symbol of mountain dotted without any gap now this is a sign of river clear now confluence of river confluence of river means meeting of more than two rivers dam of the river what is the dam of the river dam is the bar barrier to stop the flow of water pakka road draw two parallel lines rail road draw one horizontal line over that line you draw vertical lines now lighthouse here you see this is the symbol of light now post office post office is denoted by an alphabet po circuit house is also denoted by an alphabet ch not direction of map i already told you arrow sign is called north direction district boundary blank lines with gaps state boundary dotted line with gaps international boundary blank two dotted line are called international boundary scale i already told you the symbol of scale capital of the country solid one black circle and draw another circle capital of the state draw two circle one into another district headquarter draw one circle city draw one small circle forest 
draw the tree. Police station is also denoted by PS. Post and telegraph office is denoted by an alphabet PTO. Apart from conventional sign, physical and cultural detail are shown with the help of different colors. Here you see the color label indication. Landforms means plains and plateaus indicates the brown color. Here landforms indicates the brown color. Water bodies means seas, oceans indicates blue color. Vegetation region means forest, desert etc. are shown in the green color. Railroad indicates black color, roadways red color, agriculture means farming indicates yellow color. Now the location of India. India lies in the northeast hemisphere of the earth. The area of mainland of India lies between 8 degree 4 minutes to 37 degree 6 minute north latitude and 68 degree 7 minute to 97 degree 25 minutes east longitude. Here what is this? This is the earth. Earth divides the earth into two hemisphere, north hemisphere and south hemisphere. Earth is also divided into two grids, horizontal lines and vertical lines. Horizontal lines are parallel to the equator. Now this line is called equator. Equator divides the earth into two equal half. Now horizontals are lines are parallel to the equator. They run parallel to the equator. They are also called the parallel of latitudes. Now this line is called latitude lines means longitudinal lines. Vertical lines are called longitudinal lines. These lines are called prime meridians. They started the starting point of latitude lines 0 degree prime meridian. Okay. Earth is divided into 360 degree. Now here India lies between 8 degree 4 minutes to 37 degree 6 minutes north latitude. It means this sign represents the degree. This sign represents the minutes and doubles inverted like double inverted sign represents the second. How you find out these direction? Earth is divided into 360 degree. Each degree is divided into 60 minutes that is 1 by 6 and each minute is divided into second that is 1 upon 60. India lies between 8 degree 4 minute means 237 degree 6 north latitude. Here north is given. So 8 degree 4 minute it's understood it's south direction. Here it is 8 degree. These lines are called latitudes. Okay parallel of latitudes. So India lies 8 degree 4 minutes to 37 degree 6 minutes north latitude and 68 degree 7 minutes to 97 degree 25 minutes east longitude. Here east is given it's understood to start from west direction 68 degree 7 minutes here 68 degree 7 minutes to 97 degree 25 minutes. Now most, mostly India is covered 
with seas and ocean here you see himalayan mountain range range is in the north side here you see himalayan range it is in the north direction indian ocean is in south direction bay of bengal is in the eastern side and arabian sea is in the west side in which direction of india is himachal pradesh is situated here this sign indicates the north direction in which direction of india is himachal pradesh situated himachal pradesh is here it is in yellow color it is situated in the north direction in which direction of gujarat where is gujarat gujarat is here blue color is madhya pradesh situated where is madhya pradesh it is here it is situated in the east side in which direction of india is arunachal pradesh situated arunachal pradesh is situated in the north eastern side which state is situated in the north direction of kerala kerala comes in the south direction and karnataka over here karnataka is situated in the north direction of kerala which union territory is situated to the south direction of gujarat south direction it comes here the union territory daman is situated in the south direction of gujarat hope you understand the lesson i uploaded study material in our school website thank you